Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today is going to be a short little clip for those of you guys who don't understand how the impending doom and hex blast mechanics work. Um, so real short video. I started to switch over to impending doom and hex blast at around my first labyrinth. So around I'd say mid 30s. Um, I waited until Divine Guidance because Divine Guidance gives us global damage scaling. So here's exactly what the leveling tree looks like for right now. I did use Arc to level, I just picked up LE Overload and then I just respect it after. Now I am going to remove these nodes later along with these, but I'm just keeping them for right now. So I currently have Faster Casting with Conductivity and Impending Doom. Now Doom Blast has a zero mana cost, which is the Impending Doom. And I think to scale it, you actually have to scale the gem tags of like conductivity. So you're kind of wishy-washy with your links that you can use. But for, for the sake of leveling, you don't really need much. Just faster casting, conductivity, and pending doom. The only curse nodes I have on the tree is Hexmaster. And I've just grabbed Curse Effect. I played already before even having any curse wheel. And the AoE clear feels fine already. So I have a 100% increased doom rate. When I curse a target they will have a hex on their head. This hex will start to blink and pulse. So that's a pulse when it is at max doom. For the sake of clearing mobs, you a lot of people thought that this was gonna be a dumb skill where you have to fucking use four curses to kill stuff. That is not correct at all. Um, then to just go over the next one, I've got Archmage with Controlled Destruction, Lightning Pen, and Hex Blast. Remember that Hex Blast deals chaos damage with hits. Sorry, Hex Blast is damage with hits it's fuck hex blast is chaos hex blasts chaos damage with hits is resisted by its lowest resistance instead i got confused because i was i got because i have lightning damage too and then i forgot that it doesn't matter i'm reducing their lightning res so the lightning is doing damage as if they had low lightning res because they do anyway let's move on and just keep going i'm gonna just shut up so you curse and you boom you curse and you boom I don't know if there's only the three limit yet on how many targets get hit, but so far it feels super good. When you come across, like as an example, uh, hexproof mobs, I think when you heck when you curse a hexproof mob now, um, your curse is gray because it doesn't work. What the hell? Yo, was this always here, dude? That's like the most colorful thing in Path of Exile, dude. What is that? It's a nice little bundle of gems there. Uh, so when you curse a guy. I do believe you still have the impending doom and the doom, but uh, your curse doesn't work. But it's still, like, here we go. Here's a hexproof guy. So look, see how it's gray? That gray implies hexproof. But you can still just smack him with your, your hex blast. Because we are scaling Archmage, so we have a ton of lightning on it, right? So even though the target is immune to your curse, you're still running lightning pen, and you still have other forms of damage aside from just your pure curse. Convenient hexproof mob. Yeah, I wonder if people are going to notice him playing double music. Uh -uh. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with the skill. I will say the single target is not the best in the leveling until you start specking into your doom rate, and more specifically, once you get your skittering runes. Now, just to elaborate a little more and talk about the build, previously I thought to myself I was going to be self-casting all my curses because of the sake of how impending doom works. But now I'm beginning to think it might be better to use something like Vixen's Entrapment because that way when I use my manual curse, which will be one of the three, assuming I use Vixen's, I'll have three curses, um, I will only be detonating one curse, right? And here's why. If I get to a boss fight, right? So let's say, let's say this is Oak right here, okay? This square is Oak. So I'll use Conductivity, Ellie Weakness. He's at max stacks. If I detonate one time, it's going to pick the one with the most doom. So it'll probably just pick the one that happened first. So conductivity. If I then detonate the second one, I'm detonating without conductivity. So I'm doing far less damage. So I think the better way to automate it is to have your double resistance curse reduction. So conductivity and alley weakness. And then a third curse like enfeeble or temp as your defensive. The question is, do you make the conductivity and the alley weakness the automated one? Because if it's automated, when I say automated, I mean like Curse on Hit or Vixen's Entrapment, which says when you curse, it uses the other ones. Because if you are not only self-casting the curse, self-cast means you put it on a hotkey and you press it, not any other way. 
If you are not self-casting the curse, you do not get Impending Doom. For people who don't understand what Impending Doom is, Impending Doom is the AoE damage that you're seeing. So if I Hex Blast the mob, that's Hex Blast. This is what happens with Impending Doom. It explodes, right? So ideally, either you will rotate one curse. So like I have curse on hit with two of them, right? And then I will um, either curse with conductivity first or I'll curse with uh, enfeeble first. And then that way, instead of me playing ping pong, it's just one curse and then hex blast and then one curse and then hex blast. And that feels very good. You know, a two, a two button build is very much respectable for me. Um, it's not difficult to do. You still have a lot of room to kite. You don't feel overwhelmed with your buttons. So, yeah. Here's a... Oh, that was a Hexproof pack. Oh, no, there's only one mob. That's... Okay, just one mob. There's another Hexproof guy. You're banned. So, here's the current single target. So, we wait for the pulse. There it is. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking meaty. Okay. Pew! Good. All right, well, that pretty much covers everything. Um, so Hexproof is a... Or Hex Touch... Hex Hex... Hex Blast is a uh, skill you get at Gravitious in Act 3 at level 28. And then um, Doomsday. Fuck. Impending Doom. Sorry. Impending Doom. Not to be confused with Doomsday or Doom you acquire at Library. So if you guys are interested in playing the Hex Touch Doom Boom Boomer, um, you can find it on my profile, exclamation mark profile on my Twitch chat. You can also look at the previous YouTube video, or you can just go ahead and take a look at twitch.tv slash pox, where I'll be streaming the content live. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow.